train today, gone tomorrow. For the next month, Murrumbina Station will be a construction zone. It's been disruptive, it will be disruptive for two years. While there's a sense of dread from those opposing the SkyRail, the Transport Minister, out inspecting machinery that will soon be laying foundations, could not be more upbeat. It is a big project and it is really exciting to be hitting this major milestone. Nine level crossings between Caulfield and Dandenong are being removed, shutting down operations at Murrumbina and Carnegie train stations for four weeks. There will be dedicated bus replacements um, for those two stations. There's additional car parking being provided at uh, nearby stations as well. When the machines grind into action tomorrow, no one will be more pained than those living in the shadows of the development. I'm going to be feeling, um, you know, a lot of despair. Residents in this block of townhouses were invited to apply for the state government's voluntary purchase scheme on Friday after months of anxious waiting. They were finally told if they were eligible. Linda McCaffrey was successful. I guess it's relief that we're included because I couldn't comprehend how we wouldn't be but it's also all these emotions of we don't know how much they're actually going to offer to pay a house. But her neighbour Esther, who lives just metres away, was told the government has no obligation to buy her property. It doesn't make sense and we're all scratching our heads over it. We're like, it's one block of five townhouses, but at the same time I think to myself, we've got a whole community fighting this and we're not going to stop until justice prevails. Justine Conway, Nine News.